I love Cindy Kim bitch because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like Too to do. funny, mama. <laughs> so, now that was a good I was like, like, I had to do one of your songs. Too funny, mama. What's with the grin? Hey, y'all. Um, before we start the podcast, I really have a, a very important favor to ask you. Um, some of the best people in the world, uh, Floyd and Ramon, uh, very good friends of mine, are dealing with a tragedy right now. I mean, I, I hate bothering y'all about this, but your support is incredible. Um, it's been incredible for Sherry. It's been incredible for me. We've helped a bunch of teachers. Uh, but you all have always supported uh, us on this podcast. And, um, sorry, my friends uh, need a donation after losing their home, losing everything. They've lost their dogs, um, and they need our help. Um, we've helped as much as we can, but now we have to reach out to other people. Um, so I've got a GoFundMe link uh, in the description of the podcast. Uh, for today's episode. Uh, I think it's like down there somewhere. Um, so for everyone to donate today, uh, well, let me say this. These people are incredible. And if everyone just donates what you can, it will make a world of difference in their life. Um, and you know what? We're going to do something. For everyone that donates, uh, you are eligible to win an autographed uh, copy of me or Sherry's book or a t-shirt. So screenshot your donation and send it uh, to me on Instagram uh, in my DMs, uh, or you can send it to two funny mamas at gmail.com uh, and we will pick a random winner. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much. Um, enjoy the show today, uh, but please remember uh, to donate to my friends, uh, Floyd and Ramon. Thank you. I love y'all. Here's two funny mamas. What's going on? Yes. How you okay. doing? What's good? Welcome to Two Funny Mamas. I'm Kim Whitley. Sherry Shepard is out today, but my girl is here. Sherry's girl, B Flat. And you know it. Is back in his house. Now, this is my first time sitting with B Flat. I know you do it with Sherry all yes, the time. Yes, all the time. So, Because Kim, you the shit. You busy. Oh, that was, I like that. I yes. Took, uh, but I took off the month of October, so I'm not even supposed to be doing this. I told Chris. You took off because you busy. You got shit you're doing, and you need that I, time to do what you're doing. You need the time. To do what so, I'm doing. Andre's with us too today. He is uh, over here eating, eating grapes. grapes and shit. Didn't bring us nothing. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> not one thing. Yeah, just uh, say hello, Andre, to the people. To the people. To the people. Uh, they can't see you. Hey, two, people. Weeks, two weeks in a row. Okay, how am I so blessed? With the same shirt on. Hey. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of the same clothes. Oh, okay, my bad. Hi, Chris. Hey, Kim. You guys look great. What's happening? Oh, well, I'm warming up because I've been freezing all fucking day and night in Sherry's house. And even though it says system off, it's still blowing out cold air. Oh. So, it really? Yeah, and it feel good over here in Kim's house. It's okay. Oh, you are. Thank you. Oh, my God. Now you see why I walked in here with that big you are blanket freezing. on. You are freezing. Because I'm freezing, but other than that, I'm good. I thought I would be uh, it's warmer a, in LA. It's always the thin people that are cold. That's because <laughs> I don't have no blood. You right? Yeah, and yeah. The Chris, you ain't cold. No, 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 no. I'm I'm over, I'm, not, I'm over here just looking at winter with a smile. Like here we go, finally, big man weather. Well, finally, <laughs> I don't like when they say it's always the thin people. I'm really yeah. not that thin, Kim. Uh, no, you're pretty thin. You are on what people would consider the thin side. Here, I want to know. Sense. I want to know something, and maybe this I'm is a just... cultural question for ask a white guy. But uh, what's what's your average temperature in your home, Kim, at House Whitley? Uh, I oh, thank geez. you, Andre. Thank you. I feel like oh, that's these are, oh, these are the new grapes. I thought he was going to bring you, us Dre. the old grapes out the refrigerator. I still would hate him. <laughs> Because they oh, taste you, like raisins. And the dog wants grapes. You can't have Don't grapes. Give, do not give dogs grapes. I didn't know that. You, know, you said that. Mm -hmm. I'm being ghetto for talking. Yeah, I always love, I always love I when you, you wait grapes. when you start eating three minutes into the podcast. I mean, at least people got to, <laughs> at least people got to enjoy the audio for, you know, that slice. Grapes what and raisins you don't give dogs. I didn't think dogs are supposed to eat table food, period. They're really not. I didn't think so, but you know, I'm used to Sherry's dogs eating the raw meat. Yes, and now they back to 
the, the shit in Kill the bag. Uh-uh. I saw COVID fucked everybody else. It did COVID. <laughs> I said, <laughs> oh, we been looking at that dog food mm-hmm. like, oh, now we back to the shit in the bucket. Yes. What happened to the steak in the freezer that you got to throw out? Yeah. So. If it ain't one thing, it is another. another. I think, uh, I'm Chris, sorry, windows. I'm right. I'm totally excited about being on Two Funny Mamas. Mm-hmm. So what we talking about answer. today, Chris ain't to no Chris well, is in the lineup. Here it goes. Here it goes. Talk about how I'm not a mama. That's right. Why aren't you a mama? I never wanted to be a mama out of wedlock because mm-hmm. I come from Kim. You may not know this, but like you have a lot of brothers. Mm-hmm. Everybody's married. Like we come from that get married first, have a. And I always believed in that because I was raised in a household where I had a dad. Me and, too. So I never, and I'm the only girl like you. And I didn't want to be the one coming up and now they be like, oh, we sent her to school. Now she That's pregnant. the same thing that, <laughs> but now exactly. they done sacrificed my womb, womb and stuff. Oh. So, because, of, because of family judgment. Family judgment. Family can, judgment can mess you up though. But you know what? I never wanted to bring a kid into this world. I would say like the wrong way. I felt like it take two to make them, mm-hmm. two to raise them. So if you don't work out, that's different. At least you started out True. trying. I never wanted to be like, oh, I'm a baby mama and got to depend on everybody else to help me with this. Sound like my story. <laughs> but you know what? When you're I yeah, you a grown ass woman, I'm talking about when we were young. This is really what prevented me. And I've been engaged five times. Oh my what? God. What? I didn't know that about you. Oh my God. I'm what serious. Kim, <laughs> what is that thing made of that she just had them drop into her, their knees at all the time? <laughs> Marry me, B. Please. Chris, that wasn't the truth. You said it the back way. They didn't drop to their knees. I did. They're like, sure, anything. But nobody, everybody, I had two fiancés that wanted me to have a baby. But I was like, ain't no two rings on my finger. We're not married. We just engaged. I ain't finna be having no babies. No. They wanted wanted you to have a kid before you got married? That's kind of Mm -hmm. odd, right? Well, they were engaged, so they, they were seeing the future. But obviously- they were seeing the future, but the future didn't, my future didn't see that. I ain't with the motherfuckers to this day. That's what my future saw. So, right. Now, do you regret it? Not at all. Right. Not absolutely. one. Well, be flat. She do uh, teach yoga, so, you know. How are you going to sit over or across yeah. from the mic and not be on the Don't, camera? On the camera. Well, Andre. Chris does not know that. Don't deprive your fans, Andre. Get in there. Get in there. And look, I'm being so ghetto, just rubbing on these good green grapes. Not even looking at <laughs> the on dog duty. He keep chasing the dog back and forth. We got to scoot up to let Dre, and Dre face big in. ass get in. And Dre, if you don't get you some damn just today deodorant or oh. some Beijing on that. Well, I, I took the survey <laughs> and the women like my grapes. So, you know. The survey was me and Sherry. In the day, <laughs> and I said, get you to Beijing, and Sherry said, today's men, or whatever that shit is. Just for men? Just for men. No, that's hard on your face. I can't do that. That's nice on you. See, people don't know that you just turned 39. This makes you look. Yeah. You know, I was going to say, Kim might let you borrow her say, t-shirt. Uh, majestic. Mm. You yeah. ran my t-shirt, Chris? I did. I saw that, and I was like, you know what's funny is like that could actually like no one's gonna really question that if you wear that. And see that you know with me, Chris, right, Chris. That's right. being fifty five, and everyone be like, oh my god, you're not. i will be like, yes, I'm five years away from being sixty, and they'd be like, bitch, you look good for your age. What are you doing? I'd be like, oh, I'm lying. I'm really fifty. <laughs> You up your age. So then people trip. I, yes, that's what I do. I, I up do my weight. <laughs> <laughs> you up and your weight. Do, yeah. When you up your weight, you look like yeah. you're 200. Right. You about to get put out the frame. <laughs> you about to get put out the frame. Well, see, you, you up it, and then they say you look smaller. Dre about to get his lights put out. <laughs> so are you telling people I should what, tell them I weigh like 160? And they'd be like, where? Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll just say, oh, chest. 
I want to know. What, what do you want to know, Chris? I want to know what this uh, what this musical group that the three of you look like you're in would be called. Like smile, like do a do a pouty face <laughs> into the camera. Oh, no. I want to see what this album would be called. No, no, no. Yeah, you're <laughs> all three wearing like, black. Look, your stylist like got group. your stylist got you ready. It Kim's like you still trying to pimp us. You trying to convince people that we still got it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that we still got it. That's what it looked like. If this is a black background, we look like that uh, Suge Knight. Uh, oh, wow. I, well, I, I was going to ask, like, what what cruise are you all headlining coming out of New Like, how does that work? Like, where, where do people get tickets for for your group's well, you know, headlining? Like, group. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get yeah. together again. <laughs> Take a trip to Cozumel. I know I'm about to say, who am I with this haircut? Yeah, that's one of them. Back this is the go to church on this the Sunday side. Or this the Sunday side. <laughs> Is this Saturday night fever and Sunday? You, so, you in there though? You working? So you have to go to the barber? I do this myself. You got your own hair? Kim, I have never let. I do my own hair all the time. I be doing the videos on thing. I ain't got no money. But I travel with my clippers. They ain't share everything. And tomorrow I'm be sitting right up on her counter with my thing doing my and she with a mirror. Uh huh. Wow. We can fade each other. Up. That's what I'm gonna tell people. What? Why I ain't got no hair? Because I, I cut it myself. And but see when people get up on my shit close, when I get up if you get up on the clothes, you can tell I cut it myself. And you would never let a bar because if you did, you'd be like, girl, who fucked your hair? And then I'd be like, me. And then they'd be like, oh, it looks nice. Oh, <laughs> but if you say a barber did it, they'd be like, this. don't go that? back. Yeah, they'd be like, you paid for right. And you color your own hair? Yes, ma'am. You didn't cut your own hair, the style. Kim, I I've been to a beauty. Let me tell you how I ended up with this style because a lady should, in Chicago. You should, you should lean to your left when you I tell her the story. Out there, but it was, 12 years ago, she offered to do my hair after a mm -hmm. show I went in. That's how I ended up with Mohawk down there in Harvey, Illinois. You gotta come closer to me that because she, like you off oh, I'm sorry. She fucked my hair up so bad. I've been having this haircut since 2007. And my cousin came in, Denise, she was all like, girl, did you see your hair? Go look outside. Cause her shop was dark like this room in the bitch with lights. I had a part and a part and the missing piece here. So she ended up taking me to another barber who just ended up cutting all my wait hair minute, off. Wait a minute, you had a missing piece? Yes, my hair. Dre, you want to do me a favor? Hand my high flash rag. Uh -oh. oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Lord. What's a hot flash rag? Welcome to the B-flat show, Kim. <laughs> hot flash. Yeah, see, you don't want, you didn't you watch, watch the show, show Kim, because I'm selling these like, prototypes coming in the mail. <laughs> Josh just hit me up. They'll read, they're stuck in Kansas City. I got three rags. They're stuck in Kansas City. Uh -huh. You see the, the prototypes. There's a red one, pink one, and a light. This color, blue. Mm -hmm. One high flash rag says, flushed but still fly. <laughs> and the other high flash rag says, two hits to the neck, like that. <laughs> <laughs> and the other high flash rag says, swagged in the sweat. Oh, I love that. Yep, so I will be selling those hot flash rags, honey, because I'm not getting no harm on. After the doctor explained all that to me. I see you sweating up there. Yes, that's the hot flash. But see, I'm freezing. That's the crazy thing about my hot flashes. They're like cold sweats. And it's like, people put the fan on me. I'll be like, don't put that on me. I'm freezing. <laughs> Turn the fan off. Where's the heat? So Dre mad, because I got the heat on in Sherry House. <laughs> it's on 78. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. So the air is on up on the first floor and the heat is on on the <laughs> no on the second floor is where the air is on and on first floor is where that's how people get divorced. I always <laughs> um, my husband go through it all the time and I say, Kim, I hope to God he don't leave me because I get up and get on the couch because he have on the air, ceiling fan, and a regular fan. Because you got the heat on. And he don't like it, so I just go in the living room and sleep on the couch in the heat. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is your husband a big man? Now you gotta fix your hair. Look in the oh, camera. You're right. Now see, here's where I'm gonna get fucked up because it's gonna say swing the bang to the left, but I'm throwed off. No, swing him that way. This way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I get messed up too. Okay. Yeah. So is he a big man, your husband? He's about Dre's height. But he's thick because he's a personal trainer. That's why he's so, high. And he black than a motherfucker. So his skin thick. He always says, I'm darker than you. A whole more sweat. My skin thick. <laughs> I gotta hear this shit. Is that a fact? <laughs> <laughs> my skin thick in yours. Oh my God. 
if you let him tell it, I swear to God, he did research on. I ain't never then, heard that. Don't tell Chris I'm, that. Chris, that ain't no fact. Don't you be looking at dark skinned black people, Chris, like who they are. Even if auntie says the same thing when they come to the house, they be like, it's so hot in here. You got the heat on. It's 50 degrees. I, I was like, that's why I have the heat on because it's 50. When I'm in my house, I shouldn't have to walk around in a sweatshirt and all that other stuff. If I'm chilly, I want to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. I go over dinner's auntie house. They everybody got their clothes on at nighttime, looking like they going some motherfucking where. It be ten o'clock. I'm like, why y'all got? It's chilly. <laughs> well, how about you turn the heat on? So the more melanin you have, the thicker your they, skin. Yeah, I don't know if we is, want to put that out there. I don't know. The thicker your skin <laughs> is, they say the more heat you hold. You're gonna get says it. My husband says it. So they tell me because I got all this white in me. So they say, <laughs> and my skin is thicker. That's why I'm always cold. Thicker. This one you're anemic. Anemic. I'm you anemic. Your skin. Thank you, you anemic. anemic. That's what it is. That's a, it's an iron <laughs> deficiency. It is an iron deficiency. I take iron pills when I feel like it because they make you constipated. <laughs> Is that what we supposed to be talking about on the show? <laughs> we were talking about why I'm not a mama. <laughs> I, Kim, why I, I'm I, not a mama. I don't know if you want to get into this, and you could skip over it if you want. But uh, do you want to talk about your mom, your, your mom mobile? Oh, I don't know. Because you don't want to give out that information. Time has made me feel some kind of way. Hold on. Siobhan, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you heard about the multiverse, hey, right, Chris? Siobhan, we doing the podcast. <laughs> I have. She, she, she's the multiverse Kim. She's okay. the same <laughs> multiverse. She's the same person, but a different universe. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, uh, I saw what you said. I'll try to do it after. <laughs> and then remember, Kim, uh, oh, I Chris, you speaking. Kim has to leave it. Okay. You know, she got me, and I do too. You know, I got meeting with my managers. You know, this I is think just, a, like, it's just a well-oiled uh, machine. Just a well-oiled machine is nope. uh, is what I was thinking. Whenever you come to the process of this, I'm start making up stuff so I can be busy too. I was gonna say, <laughs> Andre, have you? Uh, did you go to the club with with B the other night? Yes. How yes. was her? How was her set? Honest. How was her sure. set? Be honest. She Andre, she, you she don't went down. Have to be saying, we said no, because you're professional. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was. A, it was. Oh, the room was garbage. It was unorganized. <laughs> that's so crazy at a at a well, real. I said we didn't put on the schedule, so that's why she called. Okay, all right. Oh, that's now, hilarious. Think, we got backtrack. <laughs> Siobhan is a great ass assistant and road man. Yeah, because she, she said she caught that that this wasn't on the schedule. It was she not. called the everybody needed an assistant like Siobhan and Edie. She said, "Yeah, she said if it was on the on the thing, she wouldn't call." So, All right, here's here's a question I have for the three of you: If you're a celebrity yeah. with a million plus Instagram followers, you're in movies, TV shows, everything, are you obligated to drive a luxury car? No. no. Only black celebrities feel obligated. Feel obligated. Not do you me. get do you get pressure as a as a celebrity like that, Kim? Yes, I, well, feel like be... a, I feel like this. I feel like this celebrity pressure. Mm -hmm. You do? Yeah, I feel like you know people put pressure on you because they always got something smart to say when you pull up. Mm -hmm. If you don't pull up in the Range or the Benz or the Bentley or I'm Lexus saying... or something, they always got some uh, Audi, Audi, whatever that thing is. Mm -hmm. You pull up in something, they always say something like, "Ah." Oh. You know, look at your mama car, or they look at you, or, or they got that look, like you look sad for you, like you going down, they look sad. Are you and sad? I would look at their ass like, bitch, what did you pull up in? <laughs> <laughs> and what if they did pull up in a bin? And I don't give a damn. It'd be right. Most of the people looking at you are in the 1987 bins. Mm. Yeah, 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 exactly. That the ones trying to pass judgment. Yeah, the ones that right. is true. The people passing judgment ain't really fly. Right, I, I just jump that. out the Uber. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Bullshit. You got a driver. You say you got a driver. I don't feel like driving around looking for parking. Yeah, I always have my heels on. I don't feel like having to put my flip flops on because my husband hates when I have my be dressed up and have flip flops on. <laughs> He'd be like, "That looks like you want you just get some cute flats." I'd be like, "Fuck that! I can drive with these flip flops on." 
walk into the club with my flip-flops on, put my shoes on on stage. And then he's like, no, just wear your shoes, jump out, or like, he'll pull up and let me out. How long did y'all date before y'all got married? It seemed like a year. Okay. Y'all still years. Years. Wait, 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 wait. Give the whole yeah. story. Give the whole story. Okay. I ain't giving that story. 12 either. stories, 12 years. 12 years. We've been married 11, been together 12. You know he's 16 years younger than me. And acts 16 years older. Oh, I need, that's what I need. You see people be judging me. No, can't fuck I, what they talking about. Ain't nobody paying your bills and giving you no ass with that person that you love. <laughs> so, it's always people that So, make, Chris, we can make it. That's <laughs> right. That's, that's our move. That's We got the blessing, the B-flat blessing. Thank you. Don't Girl, nobody say that to these older gentlemen. They sure don't. That date these young girls that don't know how to do shit. Right, right. I said all the time my friend was having a stroke, and this girlfriend thought me was doing stanky leg. <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute! It's like it's going out. What? Girl, she kids was like, don't tell nobody, but it's true. His leg was going out. She thought he was dancing. I'm like, Just get it, daddy. <laughs> Bitch, he having a stroke. <laughs> I don't do shit for dating a 22 year old that don't be around her parents. And recognize a stroke. If you are a parent, <laughs> the signs of a parent. stroke. <laughs> the signs of a stroke. If you're gonna, I tell you, young, Kim, most men our age, mm-hmm. when they're 45, have had, they they don't take care of themselves like women do. No, they don't. Women our age are caught up in they're, trying to still look young, taking better care of yourself, making yeah. sure you still got it because your kids is grown and off to school. Well, unless you but, waited. Yeah, and, but. Until you're an exception to the rule. Yes. You and my girlfriend, Kelly. But I think most men, when they're in like their 50s, and they just let they self go. Because they'd be like, oh, I'm married, I got a wife. Look yeah, it's wife. the when they married and got a wife thing. And I feel like, you think about it, when you go back to the class reunion and you see the foot, the quarterback, and you'd be like, is he the janitor or was he the quarterback? <laughs> right. Right. And then all the women walk in looking fly. Yep, the women do walk in looking fly. We take better care of ourselves than men this age. And they normally have strokes and heart. So my friend, even though he's like a runner and do all this stuff, he still eat horrible. The shit that he used to do is catching up with him. But he still think he can date women oh, in his this, 20s. Oh, this is a friend of yours? Uh-huh, they had a stroke. And he's 52. Has he been married before? No. I always dated young girls. I said, well, it's fine. At least teach them how to recognize the signs, the signs of a stroke. So, no, you understand. I said, if I, <laughs> if I can get a man, this one I know, he loves me. If I can get a man to reach over me, hold on, let me get that, and pull like a hair out my neck. Yeah. <laughs> you going to get that, just like I tell That's Sherry. you know. Cause I was like, where do these things come from? When a man can pull over, cause that means he don't care, but he, he don't, don't want you him. going out looking like a witch. So I, you gonna find that person. And I told Sherry the same thing. Cause she's like, he don't mind if I don't sleep with my wig. He's like, take your wig. I said, that's right. You don't need to be sleeping in that shit. He needs right. to see all your gray hair, gray this, gray coochie hair, gray underarm hair. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. First of all, Wait what a minute. Minute. you got? First of all, you done went too far. I'm just saying. There's a there's limit. limit. I know that's right. What's the limit? Great. What's the limit? What's the limit? Great. First of all, who got gray underarm hair? I okay. This gray. I know people that got gray underarm hair. Yeah. If they didn't shave it, I'd be like, bitch, you got gray. You better go and shave up under there. If she got gray underarm hair, I know her coochie done went white. Thank you. This ain't no wrong with being white. <laughs> But that's how you know the person loves you. They don't care about all of that. Right. And that's what but I'm saying. I'm sorry. Why I'm you, sorry. I was you, leading you, out so. Yeah, you, you, you know, I'm still trying older, to practice social You distancing. probably need an older no, you dude don't. No, you to don't. match your, no, you your friend. No? Because let me tell you something. I'll be honest with mm-hmm. you. When I was younger, mm-hmm. if I saw gray pubic hair on a man, mm-hmm. it scared. I'm well, how do you know it would scare you? That means you must have saw it. No, I, yeah. I, no, no, no. B, B. She said she said saw, meaning multiple times. So multiple I, there times. were there were many instances, many instances. I didn't scare you if you didn't see it. I saw it. That means you see like, it. So I need to. Why do you like say? Why do you say when I saw it? Ain't no if. Say when I saw it. 
<laughs> but I was really young. And, okay. Oh, no. You know, you know, How you young? Be there one day and you'd be like, oh. And I was like, oh, my God. It's, see. I felt his penis was dying. I never had that experience. Yeah. Because I didn't have <laughs> older dudes when I was younger. <laughs> So, Cam, when you saw it, not no if. Right, right, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> when, you know, I always felt like you the same age as my daddy, and you're going to talk about Vietnam. I ain't Vietnam. Did you say Vietnam? Yeah. So that's why I never dated older men. I just was never attracted to, I no. never dated. I older, never dated older men. Or like when I was younger, I dated right. one for some rent. But, um, oh my dating God. Dating is a two different thing. I did it to an older dude for some rent, but I ain't date him. Okay. You gotta make okay. it Wait, is that, <laughs> was that an explicit exchange? Like, was that discussed? <laughs> What'd you say? Was that an expl- was that discussed beforehand? You're like, listen, old dude, you're gonna get some of this, but I'm gonna need this rent paid. Or was it? Oh, it's understanding. It's understanding, Chris. And when you get old, in like the next couple of years, okay, you know, all right. My daddy, <laughs> my daddy said something. So my father used to crack me up. My father always said. You know that man. You know he leaving two hundred dollars on the dresser. Dress. I was right. like, what? My father said, matter of fact, that one over there probably got to slide it on the door before she answered. <laughs> <laughs> See, I would have been one of them slide it under the door before okay. I answered. So what's the? So I get your mind right. Money help you get your mind right. <laughs> so wait. Right so <laughs> what's what's worse, or what's a more interesting predicament? Kim, B, uh, Andre, guys, answer this for me. The Older gentleman paying Kim and uh, B's rent back in the day, or Kim, you B, you didn't go to a state school, but schools with uh, we'll just say football teams, colleges with football teams, mm-hmm. the young ladies that pay the uh, <laughs> pay the football players' rent. That was rampant in the University of Missouri. I saw that a lot. Dudes were getting <laughs> football players what? were getting ladies to pay their rent. And stuff like but that. But that ain't new. They still do that, Chris. They get them to pay the rent, drive their car, and do their papers. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. About they, and then they pay somebody to go in and sit in for the exam. So <laughs> they do all of that. They do all of that. Um, well, I, which, which one's a funnier I, predicament? Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't be putting myself in a predicament. I ain't got no money to be trying to pay nobody rent. This is why I wouldn't like that. That's why I needed to have my rent paid. The mama and daddy are paying <laughs> Did you say that's what you did? Right. You understand that, right? The girls mm-hmm. ain't paying it because they get an allowance from their from parents, parents in school. So they just taking their parents' money and paying for them football How you know about this, Chris, up in Missoula? Was you yeah. a Missoula football player getting your rent paid? <laughs> Are you read about this? No, 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 no. Yeah. I had, I had buddies. I had buddies that played football, and they didn't. They didn't participate in that, but they had buddies. I just always laughed when you'd come across it. And you're like that that girl's paying that dude's bills like holy shit like that's that's uh they an interesting thing chris is that what you want i you know what they've been commenting in the in the comments that chris is waiting to get flued out is that what you i gotta know if that's our agreement kim what's my first chore there's nothing happening i'm getting handed a chore list as soon as i get show up in la baby i'm here you're like okay great and fly in with a tool belt on yeah that's what I'm it's saying. already known. Uh, I'll be handy, Chris. Yeah. Oh, I man. I think this kid got a big ass house. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It's a big ass house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Chris, you're going to be tinkering, right? You better put the GPS on when you walk through so you know I get around me. <laughs> <laughs> be like, turn on the hallway, go left. Go so two doors down, turn right. And yeah. come find this ass. Right. <laughs> I ain't said it. I ain't said it. <laughs> Put your GPS on. That's all I, was. I can't wait to see Chris in person. Oh, man. I hope it's all that I have dreamed it to No, you're, you're really building it up way too much if that's what you're going to find. <laughs> Have you seen Chris? Way too much. Without a haircut. 
Huh? Have you seen him with a long haircut? No, I don't like him with his hair long. <laughs> you know, keep your haircut. And I like the thing. What you like? You, really you like it with it long? First of all, I don't like Chris. Okay. <laughs> First of all, Chris is a piece. Chris is a piece of shit. Like <laughs> all the time, don't know what Chris looks like. Chris tell be us like, how you really feel, be black. Yeah, yeah, Chris be on the screen by twenty minutes, shit, and he'd be like, "B, in twenty minutes, you haven't said anything about my haircut." Because I was looking at your ass. <laughs> I, <ain't even> <laughs> I bet you if you wear these mustard colored pants, you'd be okay. looking at your ass. Okay. Okay. I'll talk to you later, Chris. Like, oh, <laughs> Chris okay, you gave me these grapes now. Here sleeping. you go, Dre. You asked for the grapes. I didn't want the grapes. She ate them all. Now she's mad for him bringing grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a piece of that chicken skewer. Oh, this will go real well. Oh, this is so, great. Oh, my God. I forgot. Sugar? Ooh. I had two Twinkies for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say? Yeah. She I'm got no back. I tell me Jeffrey went to 7-Eleven, racked the fuck up. I tell you about them skinny people. I we spent $40 on shit. Right. Jeffrey got three packs of donuts, two cherry Cokes, Arizona tea. What? I got two Twinkies. What? Pack of, yes. But you know, I go running. Oh, so you be, run? Yes, marathons. Oh, oh, oh. Did so, you run, man, you can eat all of that. Well, that's why I be fucking up some Twinkies with my coffee. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, because you can run it on. it on. Oh, absolutely. Yes, I would do that. Exactly. I that's, can't eat some a stuff you can't, ever. Some stuff I can't give up. Twinkies and weed. I... <laughs> And I was smoking eighty two. Kim, I was in that the seventh grade. That's when it was. What? Dude? That's when you used to get it free. You ain't never had to buy no weed. You ain't had to buy no weed. I ain't bought no weed since eighty. From eighty two to like ninety seven, I never bought weed. Everybody just had it and we smoked it. I never bought weed until I got on the East Coast. Cause everybody like, oh, you ain't gonna ante up. And I didn't even know what the hell that meant. I thought people kept saying like, auntie, like your auntie. <laughs> and I did not know what that meant when I first moved. So to you didn't pay for it. No, because like people brought it to school. You know Addy up, man. No, not until I got on the East Coast because nobody Addie... tried to shoot you. No, girl, girl, people that smoke weed don't shoot. We they just, just they just be like, "Bitch, you ain't got no money. Get it, hit me up next time." And next time, <laughs> you just be so. High. Next time they come and they say, "Annie up," you still don't. Well, no, now I know to Annie up, but That's when I moved to Philly and I was in grad school, everybody would sit around, and then they'd be like, "Oh, you got five on it." You got five. And I used to be like, "On what?" Oh, you wasn't yeah, ready. Okay, okay. I wasn't ready for it, but now I know you got to buy weed. What does weed do to you or for you? Keeps me uh, focused. I know that may sound crazy. It I does think, sound crazy. I think they didn't have ADD medicine in the 70s <laughs> when we were coming up. So I was always all over the place, and I felt like art always kept me. Mm -hmm. So when I'm smoking, it keeps me creative, and I can, like you working on treatments and pitches, I can knock some shit out but if i'm not high everything get on my nerve i'll yeah. be like if that goddamn thing ain't dripping in there i hear the drip from oh my god you are me i'm you I'm like, oh, the, that bag is crinkling I, I can't stand like the settling noise say you put something in the trash bag uh -huh. like a bottle uh -huh. and then you hear the like it's oh my oh. god she acted it out she <laughs> acted the bottle off oh, the bottle she said, i'll be like what the fuck is that it'll throw my so I'm like, if I'm smoking and working on some little noises or anything, because I love quiet. I don't, I can't work with a whole bunch of, so that's why if I smoke, I Oh, like, you could oh. live here. Oh, no, that's I don't noise. like. I had ghosts here that lived here for a while. Girl, I'm not a noisy person. I don't, can't do why did, Neither one of you made a, fit. you just casually mentioned you had ghosts living in your home and didn't stop or anything. You just kept moving. Do you want to talk about Next that? People are used to ghosts, Chris. Yes, Chris. And we believe in that because we believe in God and spirits. And mm -hmm. just like God has said, it's, it's that we believe in all of that because it's in the Bible. Yeah. And we believe it. I definitely believe in ghosts. Chris, you don't believe in ghosts? I don't, I didn't say that necessarily. I think it's more, maybe there's something crazier going on than someone, but. Uh, That's <laughs> like, I've had, when my family have experienced things, we've all experienced stuff in the family and it wouldn't have, it'd be like weird shit. Yeah, like I think that's what's in the room. The You'd I be think like, that's, hey, yeah. even in there, how did that just drop? You know, it's just, I've had some weird stuff, especially with my mm -hmm. aunt that lived by the cemetery. And they, when they redeveloped, like in that poltergeist, mm -hmm. they built houses and didn't move all the bodies, so they say they did, we don't know, but 
right by Oak Hill Cemetery in Kirkwood, Missouri. So the people that lived along that always say they felt mm. when my aunt bought the house, every room had a cross in the closet. Cause mm. then, then she had someone come through and bless the house. She mm. still lives in this day, but I would feel weird moving into a house that had a cross in every closet. What about you, kids? It's telling you something. Thank you. So my, and that was in like 73 when she got that house. Oh, no, there was this man, there was a picture of a man in the closet. This old, uh, like mm. sailor man. Oh, he no. was in the closet. That's it was a white scary. man with a sailor hat on. And he was hanging on the wall in the closet. And I think he was the one that was here with his family. But yeah. told mm. him, I had told him he had to go because he kept he kept Joshua up at night. His kids kept playing with Joshua in the other room. Are you serious? So that's what I, yes. You're so casual about this. Well, you know why? Because it was I, if I was afraid, I wouldn't have been able to stay in this house yeah. because I heard Joshua when I first moved here. Mm. Oh. He was always, guys, come on, guys, guys, listen. I said, who are you talking to? And he's like, my friends, my friends. So I said, OK, so I had and the water would just come on mm. by itself, the sink water, noises upstairs. Andre, you remember all the crazy stuff that used to happen over here? No. <laughs> Don't be trying to act like you. Oh, yeah, we both say yes. That <laughs> wasn't he give him the validation? Get your ass out the picture. <laughs> you supposed to be helping. <laughs> what age were you on during that era? <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. Hmm. No, that's so wild. It, that's It's crazy just how casual you are. You're not, yeah, and the, you have no reason to lie about those feelings. Exactly. It's, just, it's wild. Because, because I have seen it with my own eyes. And I remember, so I stopped one night because I had a priest come over and everything. And mm. we saved a priest? The house, you went it. Catholic on it? Hey, I had to get the person, whoever dealt with that poultry guy, that's that dude I needed. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, my thing. They and found the out priest. how much this house costs. And like, we can't afford to pay. Hey, ain't no rent. <laughs> we going down <laughs> south of the 10. Cause I, B, I, B. I don't have no space up there. What if, what if the priests, what if the priests charge, what if the priests charge by square footage? Oh, that's what they said. That's what they said. No. Go he goes, how many, how many, be, how many bedrooms you have? Okay, gotcha. Well, yeah. I, I ain't even seen nothing from outside. I was like, is this a castle? Oh, you so put your gate and shit around it. You can't see up. If you you know how long that what's that show home improvement where the motherfucker I be up over the fence? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gonna get in here, Dre. <laughs> the wall of China around this shit. <laughs> like her neighbor probably stand on the ladder and talk to her like this. <laughs> what is somebody? <laughs> So B, you're telling me I could stay busy all day working around that yard. Oh, oh Chris, yeah. if you first you gotta figure out how to get around. <laughs> Kim gotta have that Disney map shit like when you go to the thing that you can make and say you are here. <laughs> you wanna get to the kitchen, you just go this way, make oh, three yeah. turns, go down the hallway. <laughs> Oh we can't, you know, I'm like, choking again on the yes. podcast. Ain't nobody checked on me. And then Kim gonna tell Check on her. Out. I told him fucked up because I didn't know her. Yeah, friend I was here. I get in trouble here. Her friend's here needing quiet. Mm -hmm. So she texts me, and y'all know my phone stay on silent, <laughs> saying, be quiet when you come in, go down the hallway, make sure, and walk down the foyer. It was like seven motherfucking things, and then turn the corner, <laughs> be quiet, and then go into my office. So wow. I was like, oh, because I'm looking at the phone like, Make a right. Turn. Go into the hallway. Don't, quiet. Let, me <laughs> Don't let me get my phone out, Dre. Okay. Kim, when we came in, she was like, didn't you see my long seven text? It was <laughs> seven text. Turn down the hallway and be quiet when you go back. And I was like, oh, my fault. And oh. I do apologize again. But she oh, we came in loud. That's why we came was late, Chris. straight loud, Chris. Chris we've been outside. We've been in this motherfucker 15 minutes trying to figure out how to get around. <laughs> so... And Dre be here all the time. I'm like, you don't know where the fuck you going. We trying to dodge making it noise. <laughs> yes. yeah, I was going to say, no. was there a, a horned beast around the corner? <laughs> like, what's this? We here. Yeah, we go. are in the office. Mm. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm... We in the office. We found it. <laughs> okay. Drop so. I gotta, I gotta know. So last week, one of your uh, biggest, uh, well, certainly your biggest guest-wise, two funny mamas to date, comments on it were off the charts. 
B, you did not join. You were smart to stay out of the mess. Wanda Sykes, Andre, had Craig Shoemaker jump on. The great Joe, or sorry, Joe, I said Joe. Guy Tory sent a video. Uh, who else did we have join? Wait, Another, oh, oh my gosh, George Wallace. The, big, the biggest of the big. And Russell Peters. B, do you feel like, having been in between both, do you feel like it's settled? Well, you know, it was settled for me when I told Sherry she was wrong and she got frustrated and tore her hair up, remember? And I was like, okay, now we're moving on to the frugal flip. So, <laughs> he's mad that a motherfucker, she refused it. She refused to acknowledge it, but we saw it. Because Kim, she hit me with the, on the beginning of the show. Well, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, well, let me just tell you what happened. So then when she started telling me what happened, I let her talk. And then she talking about, B, how you feel? I said, well. So everybody's listening and watching. Right. We're talking about the feud between me and Sherry on stage and off stage. Right. So I said, sweet. when she got done saying all that shit, she talking about, well, how do you feel, B? I said, well, you was wrong for going on Instagram, even saying shit, because Kim is your friend. All you got to do is talk. I, I said, Sherry, that shit on Instagram is not real. I said, when you get done entertaining everybody comments and putting shit out there, you still got to deal with Kim in the real world. She hit me with the, well, you on Kim's side. That means, <laughs> remember, Chris, she's like, that means you said Kim is right. And I thought you, were, I said, no, bitch, I'm saying you was wrong. And I don't know what Kim said. Because I wasn't there. I said, I don't know what Kim said. I said, but all I know is you still wrong. So all uh, she said in the chair like this. Uh-oh. Yeah, where's the body pen? I said, you're wrong. <laughs> And now moving on to the program flip today. Moved on to the Andre, did you? Did... I said, Sherry, I know you mad at me. I said, but right is right. I said, and I don't even think you need to do a damn panel and a forum. You a panel? Know, didn't you say that, Chris? I said, you having a forum over to see that people I, chiming in? I, I said, was happy they did that. <laughs> and that's all I got to say on it. You was wrong. No, that's fair. No, Andre, who was your who was your favorite guest? Like, was that was that wild to see George Wallace weighing <laughs> weighing in weighing in on your George two Wallace friends? Was spat because he expressed what I wanted to say. He said it for me. I was like, he's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I was like, yes, because I've been wanting to say that, but I can't say that because I get blamed for something else that I didn't do. <laughs> do you, Andre, Andre, do you feel like you were uh, that you were accurately represented in the? Uh, in the uh, moment once george chimed in yes the the latter end of it yes but uh i thought craig uh, wanda sykes chewed my ass out yeah she was <laughs> wanda, wanda had you for dinner <laughs> started. she went in on me <laughs> she was so funny and kim you, you were saying funny. saying something about craig shoemaker and craig shoemaker the way he summed up the whole thing was hilarious. i gotta watch it what'd he say what did craig well, say if can i give my opinion on that real quick oh, i'm, I'm yeah, just gonna sure. keep talking you know yeah not <laughs> so i thought craig i think Sherry, he, I you put a word in now. right <laughs> Sherry's gonna watch unless he edits the shit out Sherry's on the view. She's with Hillary Clinton. She doesn't need me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm small potatoes here. No, here's how I would describe Craig. I thought he showed off his 30 plus years of public speaking and craftiness with amazing but uh, raw compliments while giving a funny version of watching backstage. You felt like you were backstage, but you had the uh, the benefit of somebody that's been performing for 30 years, really delivering it really well. He, I couldn't believe it. He did great. Yeah, he killed it. He killed it. Did he do a show or he gave his damn commentary? Y'all sound like he was on stage. He was. It was what like he was a closer on the, on the podcast. It, you were surprised because, oh. like, well, George Wallace, Wanda, okay. Russell, all this. Yeah. And then Craig we, gave a firsthand account. Craig Right, when Craig came on and, and pulled it all together. Okay, okay. It was very, because Craig was there. He was the only comic that, that we had happen. on that saw it happen. And he didn't really I, know, I, he, he didn't know either of you. I'll say it, And he didn't know either one of us. And you definitely didn't know who he was. And I definitely <laughs> I loaned Kim one joke, and she did, I said, well, how do you loan a joke? First of all, thank <laughs> you. Was, how how do, you do you loan, loan a joke? Do a person got to go out and say, Sherry Shepard learned with these jokes. So if y'all see her do it, just know I'm I'm boring it. I mean, I don't fucking get it. So I said, Sherry, this you can't so be telling nobody you 
I, you can do one, but don't do two. And I said, do you only have two jokes? And she's like, <laughs> my whole set was thrown out. And she did, it was like, a, and I'm thinking like, well, you was only gonna go out for one minute then. And do your <laughs> other one fucking joke. I was like, see, and then did it said. I said, he's talking about Sherry mad at you. I said, I ain't thinking about Sherry ass. <laughs> she might be mad at me. I said, but I'm my friend. Then I'm telling she her stay the there. truth. No, not, nobody I, was mad. He's talking about she gonna still let you stay there. I had to think about it. <laughs> but now that I was in the house, I can come stay at this shit. She knew I was here. I'd be, I can jump, get over that wall. I'd be living in the back space. <laughs> she wouldn't even know I was here. <laughs> I'm let my husband know. If oh Sherry ever put me out, I'm jumping Kim's wall. Yeah. I, I, I done cussed out the pool tech, right? He was supposed to come fix the pool yesterday. Oh. I done cussed him out. He sent me pictures. He said, the Ben fix. And there's a picture of my daughter. I said, I didn't, oh, I didn't know they came. <laughs> <laughs> See? You know, she said she didn't even know they came. Is this shit is so big. I did not know. The daughter was they here. They slid in. They slid. Oh, shit. Oh. Did not the water can slide in. I got it. I, I know I know how this ended too. Kim, you go, well, you should have told me you were here. <laughs> Probably. With a straight face. I didn't say nothing. I sent him his money. Because <laughs> <laughs> Kim will admit she's wrong. You should yep. admit what she's wrong. When I'm wrong, like I will people. say, I know. Some people um, are different personality. Well, they don't have to admit it because I'll tell them. <laughs> them no, just like I told Terry and she was hot. And I said, Cheryl, I'm sorry, but you were wrong. I'm sorry, you were wrong. She got in Andre's way. ass. Andre about said really? something about the credits. Oh, she went all the way. Oh, that was, oh, that was, oh, that was good. That was good. Andre, I felt Andre was a little bit, uh, he was like, oh, I've got I've got credits. Yes, <laughs> the credits like when they go out on stage how do i i said girl i don't they don't even be listening to that shit they don't they really don't i said as long as they get my name right don't be calling me b fiat <laughs> i don't give a fuck what they say they could have said i've been down at the zoo cleaning gorilla teeth i'm just saying i just said something that could be my last job people would never hear that Ain't nobody gonna come up to me after the show and be like did they say you used to clean gorilla teeth? Right, right. <laughs> like, like, How was your experience cleaning exactly. gorilla teeth? They don't come up to you and be like, yeah. were you really on comedy? Well, she or? feels, which it has some validation to it, mm -hmm. that you your credits help your journey on stage. That I don't feel it's that. not just someone coming out. I've seen people come out and think that it's going to help their journey. They still don't do shit. Okay. It's all about what you deliver. You have to stand and deliver. So people don't care about your credits. They know who they came to see and they've seen all that shit you already been on. Otherwise they wouldn't be there. So you don't need to say the shit again. They knew who they came to see. I just feel like go out, do you and make motherfuckers laugh. And then that's what people remember. Cause people hit me all the time. People don't even say my name right. Girl, you that comedian that said this joke. Girl, you that you my favorite. I don't remember your name. Bitch, you're on my page and it's spelled right there. But they be like, girl, you my favorite. I can't say your name right. Or I I don't know your name, but when I saw you and that joke you did, I don't care. Cause I feel like remember my name or not. At I least your joke. Thank you. And may I did what I was supposed to do. Right. You were fine. And that's all that matters. Thank I think you. and that's all I try to be. I don't never want nobody to say they came to see me and I wasn't funny. Because if they do, I'm like, bitch, I wasn't me. I was sitting in the state on the street. I was sitting in the audience. You didn't see me. <laughs> you got me mixed up with that other bald head girl. <laughs> <laughs> they be saying I look like her. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm man. just saying, if somebody, somebody ever came oh, up man, to me, that, you delivered that so well. I was like, is there someone else? <laughs> no, it might be. <laughs> shit, right? Go ask that because he, you ain't gonna never say I wasn't funny. Mm. Hey, and that's just a preference. If no, you say that, that, that means like, like I don't like her. But I've never. I'm had that. so glad you got in Sherry's ass without <laughs> us there. I had to get out. I didn't mean to, but she oh, brought it up, and she didn't really think that it was gonna go there. Probably live on the show because we were live. Oh. But I was like. You was wrong. That was my first, cause she was wrong. I was like, why are you going on Instagram and do that? That's just wrong. Well, because I, I said, well, you was wrong. She you was agree not. with Kim. I said, no, I'm not. She I'm not saying Kim right. Saying, oh, no, do it, did. Yeah, she I said, I am not, not saying no, that no, Kim no. is right. I'm just saying that you were wrong. <laughs> right. she, she wants to try to hear that. 
and she no. hit me with the ah, chair, the dramatics, and I said, "Get it together!" Ah, I love it. Get it together. Get it together. Now, how do you guys feel about Sherry being back? You are real friends in your life. Yes, exactly. And I did not want her yeah. to feel like that was right. And I don't like that. I don't like when people argue on the internet. That's ignorant to me. Yeah. You a grown ass person. You can't call them. You're not ever going to catch me arguing with them. I'm calling your ass because I'm going to say some shit that should not be on oh, the internet. <laughs> you say and unless you're recording this, that's the only way you're going to catch me. But you right. are going to remember what oh, I said. Be on TMZ at some point. Yeah, you I really, on really don't give a fuck. <laughs> Hilarious. Just like COVID. That shit going to be like, oh, we passing that bitch up. Just no like her lungs yeah. Yeah. COVID. COVID. Like That's David Chappelle. Passing. Yeah. Don't care. Don't care. Because you know what? I love my journey. I am mm -hmm. totally enjoying my journey. Look at where it got me. You're right. Right here at Kim Big Ass House. She don't know. <laughs> Wait till I walk out. So I'm going to be scoping. I'm going to scale the fence. I might be out there swimming. Come over here and swim and shit. Like her pool man. She yeah, ain't even going to notice. <laughs> Sherry got a nice pool, but Kim oh my God. got like four, five pools. That's why she, she probably the Olympic me. pool. Yes, I'd be on one side. She probably think I'm the pool man. <laughs> Cleaning, and all I gotta do is yell across to her. Yes, ma'am, I'm here to clean up. <laughs> She'd be like, "Oh, that's the pool man." Be like me. I'd be over there with my towel on, pressing my teeth down. Yes, oh. ma'am, I'm, I'm here to clean up. <laughs> Something is wrong with you. Something is wrong. Something oh, is wrong. I should have been out here. <laughs> should have been out here. Yes. No. <laughs> Come and hang out. And you you see my girlfriend's here. here. See Mickey hanging out. But wait a minute. But oh, last God. time, when I was uh, doing Sherry, I was Sherry like, girl, Kim said, I should have B flat over here, but no, I don't want too much. I came here. This shit is regular house. Sherry shit be the one that's out of order and out of pocket. <laughs> yeah. She always no. trying to put it on somebody. Well, if you go to Cam's. No, bitch. No, 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 no. We, can't, we can't let her go too deep in the house. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? If we went too deep in this house, I wouldn't even know her. I would think I'm in somebody else's house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm be like, did we cross the street? Because <laughs> this shit. She could even tell me if it was a if it was a junky room oh. in this house, I'd have to get the tour first, and I might have to pay. You know how they get pay the ten dollars to get the tour, then go back around. Then I was like, oh, yeah, I Joshua's like got that. a square card reader. Yeah. She said, "I fell." She said, "My damn house, Jackie." No. Oh, how she gonna throw me junkie. under the bus? Because she knows I like to organize, and she's like, "Kim, oh, I want right. you to come I over there." Did. She and, did uh, tell me. Yeah. Oh and no, then, I got some spots. No, baby. no. But wait a minute, yeah. you said some spots. <laughs> that is the key word, Kim. You said it, some spots. Sherry always trying to put it up. Did you get my bra off the desk? I, hope I, don't want, I don't want that in the picture. Don't let them see my bra. Is my drawers in the room? Why is your bra on the desk? <laughs> on the desk and say? the big drawers. I said, Sherry, make sure you get those. I said, I put that stuff in the room. <laughs> don't let nobody see my big drawers. <laughs> We were now what? just like because <laughs> everybody women sit at the desk and they get they be like, let me put this damn bra. And you that throw it is on the true. Floor. But when you throw it on the floor, you have to pick it up when you leave out the room. That's what I do. <laughs> Sherry oh should be right up here like a stack, like let me put this bra on today. <laughs> Different bras at the desk. Okay, hey Chris. No shit. What's up? I gotta go make a phone call. Can y'all hold it down? They can hold yeah, it down. No, Andre, sit can't... in the big red chair. Uh, all right, I get yeah. you into a big chair. All right. Sit in the big red chair. Now, huh? now, no, go do your thing, Kim. We'll see. You, we'll see you back here. And we'll talk yeah. about why Andre is not we a mama some... and why I'm not a mama. <laughs> 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 And we no, have hey, to be, be on topics we can no, talk about. There's plenty to talk about. So first of all, you all have been uh, roasting Sherry, who's uh, out busting her tail out in New York and killing it on The View. So many yes. good comments. Everybody loving that. I do love that they have a legit funny comedian injected back into that in such a big popular show. Have you 
or how, could you could either of you two see her jumping back into a role like that i just i don't know i see her and she, i know that's important <clears throat> to her doing talk show type stuff i'm mm-hmm. selfishly i like that she's gotten super into stand-up yeah um i think on the view she has to find her own voice yeah within that within their boundaries right view yeah and it's hard on that show Mm -hmm. when it is the view it's different trying finding your view and your own voice Mm -hmm. but i think most of the people on there because they have a view Mm -hmm. their point of view i always tell sherry she don't have like a solid stance or point of view on stuff yeah that's what i mean right Mm -hmm. and i'll be telling quit looking at it like you have to have a voice if you had your view on that show then everybody would that's your voice Mm -hmm. your view you know what I'm saying? On yes. how shit. But if she wants to bring the funny to everything. And so, which is great. And she should, but still have a view of that. Yeah. If you're talking about Joy, politics, you got to have a funny view. Yeah. But Sherry don't like talking politics. <clears throat> and, and that's all they talk about on that shit most of the time. <laughs> so, uh, Whoopi, she, yes. she's, she's, she's the fearless one. She yes. just say whatever she wants to say and you can't stop her. Right. Uh, Joy, she, she's, funny uh-huh. and she brings a different perspective you and got she the, has her view on every fucking the thing. conservative yes chick you know so yeah so you okay. definitely having a view mm-hmm. but your own distinct perspective and, and and voice to the conversation yeah i think that would so do you think that she wants to do the view again or that type of stuff you know sherry don't lie <laughs> <laughs> like i told you before you and Kim can say things and and oh, I, you want I, them to feel like you go have to apologize and go on Instagram and Twitter and be like, <laughs> I gotta retract that statement. It's the reality of the situation. How would he know? It, it's like having a penis is a bad oh, thing. Oh yeah, now. you right. <laughs> Sherry already, you right. You better shut up because Sherry already mad at you, you that you went to my show. So you right, you better Oh yeah, you didn't know that, Andre. You got sold out. You sold him out, you didn't even mean to. I didn't, because I ain't know she was like, you know I'd be running my mouth, I say anything. So Sherry was like, V, how you like driving my car? I was like, girl, I ain't driving the car shit. I've been driving and driving me around. We went to my show, we've been kicking. She like, Yeah, he went to your show. He don't never go. I've been trying to get I just feel like I'm losing my son. You cooking, I'm losing my friend. He doesn't I was like, first of all, he around your ass all the time. <laughs> and I'm sure he's been to your show. I'm in town. He's never been to my show. It's not like he's going to every one of my shows. Dre, if you went to every one of my shows tonight, I mean, tonight, tomorrow, whatever, then I would say, yeah, Sherry, he don't fuck with you because he didn't went to all my shows. Well, see, no, and, <laughs> that's not the case. And, okay, we see talked before we went to the show. We talked right. before we went to the show. I say, okay, are you the type you want to hang out afterwards and all that? Because I'm very, I mean, the COVID thing, and mm-hmm. I'm... I, they know I don't mess around. I don't go out that much. So we we talked about it, and right. you said after I do my set, we out. I'm like, good. See, Sherry, she likes to mingle and talk and take pictures and all that stuff. And I'm like, I ain't trying to be around these people, you know. So I'm that's why I don't go uh, to a lot of her shows because she ha- she asked me to go with her, mm-hmm. you know. And I'm like, hey, if you can do your set and get the fuck get out the of there, fuck cool. Out of there. And but, see, I always know. do my set and get the fuck out of there because I take my pictures up front. And I let people know that. I'm like, if y'all want to catch me, you better catch me now. Because I never stay, unless I'm headlining. I always leave after the show. And even when I come off stage headlining, I just leave. Because it's a different time. It's a different time. I just go home. I don't be hanging out. Dexter agrees. Drink all of that. It's like work. I'm over. I'm over and I'm done. So This is is Sherry after the show. Can I take a picture with you? And then they like this. Uh, You don't know them people. They might have just burying, just popping off their ass. They're like, come on. Look at all right. You take three, four shots, and you know now you got the stuff. <laughs> yeah, and then somebody tried to show me their vaccination card, and the motherfucker was typed up. I said, "That ain't good." <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm vaccinated. I was like, "Where you get it typed up?" Because when I got my shit, they wrote it in there with their head. You know, went home on the computer and typed up. And it said, "I ain't got the shit." Hey, right. when they start using verbiage like that. <laughs> So, say it right there. I ain't got the I tell people because I keep my card on my phone on my home screen. And if you want to take a picture of me with my mask off, then you have to show me your home screen on that you are vaccinated. And then I can hit you with a photo. Other than that, we both. And you better recognize me from the eyelashes up. Mask <laughs> <laughs> on in your picture, and I think I'll be looking cute with my mask on. Look, Chris, how do you look? Yeah, that's that's a great look. 
It works out. I, don't, I like that. You know, <laughs> back to the multiverse. You got the storm going on. That's right. That's, that's exactly. Storm. That's oh, right. Storm right now. I have my bang over it. Yeah. This is, there you go. Storm all day. <laughs> You're working it out. <laughs> look like fucking Simon. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Ace Ventura up in this bitch. B, just being out in LA and around all those com- I mean, you just went and did D Ray's show Monday. I think. Do you have more shows in LA while you're there? Yes, two more. Do, One, do you, third, does it make you want to be out there more? Fuck no. <laughs> I've been out this bitch. I lived out here for six years. It does not make me want to be out here. It's like anywhere you go, you just want to go home. You come and work and you go home. Oh, but yeah. you got you got, you I, got property. You you balling out there. Is you talk about Kim's, you got you got is I'm, hey, you in there. I'm balling on the budget broke. I am a thousandaire. Okay. I always say that. I'm a thousandaire. <laughs> I ain't gonna be in there yet. I'm a thousandaire. Balling on the budget broke. <laughs> no, I am not. I'm very frugal and I don't like Chris, you know we trying to get me a computer. I don't like spending money on shit. I see my manager doesn't like the fact, like, when I'm here, I don't be going out shopping. She's like, oh, we're going to go to the Grammys. We got to get in the... Bitch, I'm not going to get no new shoes. They don't know me at the Grammys. So why do I need to walk down there with money on that I could be paying my bills with? I feel like if I'm getting a Grammy, then I'm going to go buy something. But to just go, I got shit I could wear. But she'd be like, oh, no, but you have to look extra. And I'm like, fuck an extra, because this is costing extra money and I ain't got none. That's back to the car. It's yeah. All, it's an illusion. It's Hollywood. It's an illusion. illusion. And I just feel like it's been plenty of time. I've had plenty of tickets to like Grammys, Emmy, all that shit. Beach. I don't be going that stuff because I'm not dressing up to walk, to buy, go out and buy. I'm not getting an award. And I don't give a fuck about seeing, being on the red carpet. Y'all not paying me. And if I can't wear mm-hmm. the shit I got on. <laughs> You don't like oh. it, you don't like mixing it up in that. No, I mix it up for me. It needs that you need to have a purpose. Damn right. What the fuck do I look like going to the Grammys? Because you can get fly on stage. You damn right. Because it's my show, and I'm getting paid. Yeah. <laughs> ain't nobody paying me. First of all, they don't know me at the Grammys, mm-hmm. and we ain't got to walk down the red carpet with our friends. I don't. They ain't gonna be coming up to us. So it's like I'm gonna spend two thousand dollars on the motherfucking outfit where they tell the bitch step to the side so they can get these other motherfuckers that they really wanna see. And yeah, I don't do that. I'm not I've never been one to that peer pressure and be like, I gotta get this because of that and these people got that. I don't keep up with the Joneses. Motherfuckers keep up with me. That's why I got a DIY. Listen show. to listen every Tuesday, eight That's central, right. six Pacific, nine. Doing my search. way, shit. I'm like Frank Sinatra. Your, your hot flash your hot flash top, is it gonna be made out of the same stuff that they make the sham wild to catch the sweat? I don't know what it's getting made out of. I'm getting prototypes in the okay. mail in a couple of days. That'd be cool, huh Chris? Let me yes, sham wild. That'd be good. Can you imagine B hosting her own infomercial? <laughs> oh, for the class, Greg. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, like, sign off. Sign off with your two hits to the neck. Okay. So the, the commercial's over. How do you say bye? Boop, boop. Like this. Boop, bye. <laughs> uh, we've got some comments. I wanted to get to this, B. Will you help us? Yes. We got it. We just read it. And especially since Andre's on, uh, this one I, I tagged as being rather, uh, rather on the nose for Andre. So last week, uh, everybody, Andre was part of that. We uh, titled that Sherry versus Kim. And of course, uh, just like uh, the old days, how friends make up, they talk about it on the internet with six other comics, right? On a podcast. Right. Yeah, that's <laughs> and, like the old days. And just like the old days. Uh, so here's a comment I wanted to address. Seriously, Andre does have skills. I saw him take a good fighter down at the dojo I managed, embarrass the guy so bad, he left like a gal. It was hilarious. <laughs> okay b we need to dive deeper on this because all i see now i know andre's got the martial arts background personal training all that good stuff i need you to address this personally andre are you aware of this is from aaron uh on the comments on youtube from last week mm-hmm. i need aware you to, i need you to address the situation is this true oh Oh yeah, I, I, I've trained in various styles, and I've okay. been part of multiple uh, uh, dojos. So uh, I, I don't recall the exact situation, but uh, I, oh, there's I'm, I'm like, you brought up a lot of people. I was gonna say, B. <laughs> that's like that's like Kim's old man. <laughs> it's like Kim's gray pube roster. <laughs> there's more than one. 
Yeah, well, that's part of, you know, you train here. I've been training since I was about nine years old, something like that. Yeah, so I've had multiple disciplines and various instructors. So. Okay. I can right. do that. Uh, uh, but I don't think you can, you gonna be putting your hands on women. You can control oh, your anger. No, you ain't no, like them boxes that no, be like, no. well, you know my that's CPE. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real mellow now, man. I'm mellow. <laughs> but I've, I've done personal security. I've done all kinds of stuff, man. So, okay. B, how, how many like people? <laughs> how many people have you done security for, B? My brothers, all their life. <laughs> Every time they used to fight, they'd be like, "I'm gonna go get my sister." <laughs> I'm telling Dre that. Don't make me go get my sister. Damn right, don't come get me because it's going, it's going down. She's small but scrappy. Yes, I'm Tali. I love to fight. That's why I'm like, the, I love a good fight. That's why I like, I don't like this new day that people don't fight no more. Go you know, to YouTube. Fight, and people be like, girl, they fighting. And everybody would come out and look. You'd be like, oh, putting your grease on your face, taking your earrings yeah, out. Yeah, we don't have that no more. I miss a good fight that builds character. Helps you live in another day to fight, but now everybody just wants to shoot. Don't nobody gotta. And that's why I'm mellow now. Yeah, because everybody wants no to shoot. No time but for I still it. Like fight. I felt the I heat. ain't gonna lie. Shit. I got Chris. the zipper on my stomach. Dre, so I told I you I thought I was gonna fight last this past April. I was ready. Had my shoes off and everything on stage. That's what with Kim. I told her what went down on Monday, and she like, mm -hmm. why didn't you go and stop them? And I'm like, I ain't getting involved in that shit. Up on with. Yeah. D Ray and Donnell. Yeah. Oh no, that wasn't for you to get in. That was for me to laugh at. That shit was so funny. Because <laughs> Donnell was so right about that nine funny ass motherfucker that was on stage just taking up all the time killing the show. We didn't know when to get the fuck off. So when Donnell said, I saved the show, yeah, he... we was like, Yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker was live. Ass oh. past the ass. Backstory, I guess. <laughs> D Ray hosts the show on on uh, uh, on Mondays at the Improv, and he was an hour and a half late. So oh, don't you put that oh. on D Ray. Not an hour and a half late. Uh -huh. The show started at nine. It didn't we start started at nine forty. Okay, an hour. Okay. Late. <laughs> it started at forty minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the New Jack MC right. did twenty minutes. Then they put the unfunny dude up. He did twenty minutes. True. So that's an hour and a half. Because if he the MC and he started on time, he would have cut all that out and got straight to it. True. Okay. So he was late. <laughs> the audience was like, "You gonna put somebody funny up? Jeez, we didn't pay that much." Yeah. So Donnell came in, did a guest spot, and brought the crowd back. Yes. Sure. Toward the end of his set, I guess D Ray came and saw he was up there and gave him the light, and Donnell. Either didn't see it or just didn't care. He didn't get off. But the audience was <laughs> the audience was loving it. I mean, it's Donnell Rollins, man. You know, yeah. you put up yeah. two whack ass unknowns. <laughs> now you finally get a, a, a real star that's shining, and you want to cut him short. So D Ray got up there and, and I don't want to say did a Sherry, but he blasted him on the stage. <laughs> he did Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry's taking shrapnel on her own show. <laughs> no, but he, he put him on blast in front of everybody. everybody. And so Darnell wasn't having it. So he they both had microphones and they were like, blah, blah, blah. and then D Ray got serious, like, well, what you want to do about it? And he, he got personal and like, I'm on the hottest show on TV. What are you doing? Why'd you kiss uh, yeah, that was uh, uh, Dave's ass and get some old material? Something he said that was kind of, it was like cutting deep. I'm like, yeah, damn, why you going to go there, man? Dang. And so they're like, well, this let's go fun. off stage and handle it. And then they left. And so I told Kim, and she like, well, you know, why don't you break it? You do, they, I'm like, I ain't getting in that nigga shit, man. I know it was nigga shit. It was great. <laughs> I was enjoying that shit. I was like, this shit is funny. This is classic. <laughs> but the audience, I mean, you got to think people are there to see a show, and then y'all about to fight on stage? Come on, man. This is Hollywood True. improv. This ain't Crenshaw comedy chuckle hut. <laughs> I told you I miss a good fight. I would rather see them fight than shoot. I've well, seen yeah. a lot of comedians fight back in the day over jokes and stuff. I, mean, what I was fighting? one of them. I don't know. <laughs> well, so, I know everybody everybody has their moments, and especially if you're being passionate about that. I've talked to both of those two, and they are both so damn nice. And I just I don't have anything ne and I don't know them like you all probably do, but I just uh that's wild to hear that. That the two of them it's it's brothers fighting right it's yeah, like you yeah, know exactly. each other yeah. so well exactly. yeah and that's exactly what it was. And they made up on the, that toward the end and you know they made up they, they got on stage, back on stage and talking crap and it, well I they should have done they should have done a podcast with other comics is what i, <laughs> I would have <laughs> highly well, recommended that because i know somebody was recording that shit even though they said no cameras no phone oh yeah they they went on so, so you had to get it because it was classic 
Yeah, it, it would have never. It probably will never happen again. I wish I'd had my shit on, but I was laughing so hard. <laughs> I was like, "This is the show." Because it started first, it was funny, and then they started getting serious, and the audience like, <laughs> "You lost right. him, huh?" Well, the DJ walked this off serious? the stage. This he was like, "You know what, Donnell? It's your show. Fuck it." I'm outside. You want to see me? See me outside. And of course, Donnell, New Donnell. York. He's like, all right, fuck it, open. Chicago and New York <laughs> clashing in L.A. <laughs> Chicago versus New York outside. Good, and I'm glad I was there to witness. <laughs> <laughs> and you're happy you're flying back to Philadelphia. Uh, you know what? I am not going to miss it. Like, it is colder here than it is in Philly. I, yeah, it's I talked to my husband. Reason. I was like, what's the temperature? He's like, oh, it's like 79. 80 today, 60 tonight. Is that, like, is that how he said it? How'd he say it? <laughs> Seven, look, 79. <laughs> Poor Dennis. <laughs> I can just see him bouncing. I know my husband's mannerism. Okay. You know, he, he just wanted to talk. Yeah. So I'm talking. sure his, I know I'm imitating my husband. Mm -hmm. I know his mannerism. I'm sure he's enjoying that good weather. Because we're in Philly and it's normally cold. Yeah. And it's chilly here in LA. It is straight freezing, Dre. You know it is. So when he shot his shot, what, that was his mannerism? So, uh, my, you know what? My husband did not try to holler at me. No. It's funny, Chris. I'm not telling the story, but when I came out of the bathroom, I said, "Dennis, ain't you peaking, son?" And he's like, "Yeah." I was like, "You grown now?" <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, that was funny. You was a cougar. You hunted his ass down. Uh, oh. Come here. He <laughs> came to my shows before I even known he was there. He's like, this is time I come to you. And I didn't, I hadn't seen him for like maybe 12 years. Hmm. And he was growing. And I was like, I'm going to get you a seat. Come sit down. So it's funny because he was sitting in front of me like at an angle at a bar. And I was just looking at his shoulder like this, like, uh. <laughs> I was like, a big ass shoulder. Oh, so that's God. the secret right there, ladies. The the, right. the times changes. Shoot your shot. Hey. It's funny because we just he said he didn't even drink his beer. I got him a Heineken. And I just did it because he's my his aunt is my best friend. And his mom I knew his mom and all, but I hadn't, you know, when his mom passed away, we hadn't seen him for years. I thought I would never not that I was checking for him, but shit, I didn't even realize it was him. But you know how you know a face? Mm -hmm. And I kept saying, that looks like, I was like, he's a grown ass man now. So he was probably peeping you back there. You was uh, in his, probably. It was, it was fantasy for the jerk jerk. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. You might be right, but we've been married 11 years now, and it still feels like day one. Mm. Look at you! Is this this turn? Like, oh, this, this, this still feels like day one. I'm like, ooh, no, don't go for that one. Just let that one. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, we <laughs> got together. Like, I feel like we still on a honeymoon all That's the time. Good. Yeah. So COVID didn't not at all because we always used to be in around each other. Mm. So COVID actually brought us closer because it gave me an opportunity to be off the road. Mm. And my husband loved it. He's like, I just love that you're home, and I love being home every day let me tell you what we used to do we used to do shit like act like we was arabian nights like you know that, that's called role play. That's yeah, called role play. yeah this is, we're about to get de <laughs> details under because we're like binge watchers everybody was binge watching shit during covid so we would blow up the air mattress in the living room and take like sheets and let them drape over the lamp in the back like make it look like it's a chic tent mm -hmm. lay the pillows up in there and shit. just be like eating popcorn watching the movies like right <laughs> and then we would leave it like that for like a week so when people come over they'd be like y'all going through something like they were thinking shit is y'all put the fuck out sleeping on air and then they're like what is this i was like let me take the tent down <laughs> so this shit looking crazy <laughs> I like but something Joshua would do. Yeah, I built exactly. a tent in the living room. <laughs> crazy shit like that. Like as a, just as a couple having fun. And that's how we came up with Fish Nasty Friday and Slidey Saturday and Tickle It Tuesday. Oh, so y'all yeah. watching Game of Thrones and just, okay, Happy I'm going to be Lord Rondeville or whoever this fuck with this. Yes, yeah. because <laughs> Game of Thrones, his name was Sir Bolivar. <laughs> From the land of Balf. B A O L T H. <laughs> Now what's straight? That, was this was this? Uh, did you smoke your salad before this happened? How did this work? Oh, okay. But the funny thing is, we just everybody be like, oh y'all, you know, they think that we were like rabbits, like we're just because it's just the two of us. But literally, like any other married person, you put it on the schedule, mm -hmm. and I'll be like, it's the day to day you're supposed to do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have more fun just enjoying each other. Is he a vegan also? Mm -hmm. Oh okay. 
Are so you a vegan, B? Well, is it pescatarian? I do have to have to eat salmon ever since I had my hysterectomy. The doctor said I'm supposed to eat a fish because I don't get. Gotcha. You know, I got low. That's why you day. cold too. Yes, because yeah. I don't eat any meat. Yeah. But no, he's um, he's a good husband. I love him, and he don't want no kids, and I don't have any kids. He don't want. We'll you make sure have... he gets his his pineapple yeah. juice and all that good stuff. He don't like pineapple juice. He don't like pineapple mm -mm. juice. Or he don't like like citrusy stuff. Like mm. he's a cranberry juice type of dude. But oh, okay. Why are we talk about? We supposed to be talking about why I'm not a mama and why you not a mama. I don't have the right parts sure. to have a be a mama. I was gonna say. It. I, <laughs> I don't know now. You know I ain't now. I ain't jumping into Dave Chappelle territory. I can't be no mama. I ain't. <laughs> you know, I got a mustache and a couple chin hairs, and people could look at me and say that. <laughs> now you, you, yeah, no, just, you, you all woman. I oh, am. Yeah. I, but now I be. Never, out of wedlock yeah but b you, you you seem like you're having a really good time with jeffrey and you i'm sure you're you're fun I with love, kids i love kids and i told you chris my maternal instinct kicked in when the dog was sick yesterday morning yeah, she's a great like, dog mama i was like wait a minute something's not right and i never owned a dog i don't know nothing about dogs but it was i even told sarah i said i think my maternal instinct kicked in because i called dre and woke up. i was like dre something ain't right you better come down and get ashley whatever but I'm great with kids. It's so funny. I love kids. I love being around them. I just never wanted any of my own out of wedlock. And mm -hmm. then as I started, I didn't get married till I was 40. And I was like, fuck that. I ain't gonna be one of them old motherfuckers having kids. And they, that's just like me. Like I wasn't gonna be that woman having a kid. My first kid at late age when most people are grandma. Cause I was thinking about menopause and all the things that you go through when your body is shutting down and your kid's body is starting up <laughs> and that the estrogen the testosterone all that stuff don't go together and it's, it's nothing wrong with not being a mom i mean you're a great auntie. auntie i am the best auntie yeah. and the worst stepmom so all that together makes me a good person yeah i think sure. but i i like i like my house quiet kids come over they can stay a little bit and then they go home and they have a great time when they're at my house Cause they know they go home. <laughs> I, I would like to have, exactly. have another kid though. I, just, mm -hmm. I, I would like to, you know, have another mini me. Mm -hmm. Cause I, I know so much more now than right. I did when I was younger. So I think I, I could really, you know, guide Put more and, into that. Yeah, definitely. You think you have the patience now? Uh, more patience than you did when you were younger? Yeah, yeah. That's usually how it goes. But then when you get older, I don't know. I just look at my grandma when she had my uh, uncle who's younger than me. She was going through yeah. all that. I'm just saying. She that was, was my going uncle. through it. And that's your little brother. That right. And she really was going through menopause. He was like a menopause baby. You know, and she just really did not have the patience with him as she got older because like my grandma was in her sixties. My uncle was still little kid. He was like 10. Whoa. That's what I'm saying. She was 49 when she had him. So he was like 10, 11, and he got away with everything. Like she could never tell him not to drive the car or steal the car. And we used to be like, Howard just run rampant. And to this day, I think because he, I don't know. I just feel like the youngest kid is always the spo the one that's spoiled or right. you just give up on him. You'd be like, fuck it. I didn't raise 10. That last one, he been long from the brother and sister. <laughs> like that last shit. He got enough people, kids running around here to teach him something. So. Really? Oh wow! Oh shit! Pool that's man's there. Like Ashley, is like a big dog. That's See, that's what would sell you out if you if you snuck that's into Kim's wall. Kim, that's the only way Kim knows somebody at this motherfucking. Right. That dog story for Dexter's a little dog. Does he get tired going from one wing of the house to the other? With short legs, he man. He takes a nap in between. <laughs> Dexter's probably be like, you know what? I got my two spots. Okay. <laughs> by my dog bowl. And over here in this little, this shit is large. Oh, oh man. Hey. I still ain't got the tour. After <laughs> okay. We just happened to find this area. <laughs> so now I got to get the tour. And, and I don't need to go to that one spot. Can't say, don't take it there, Dre. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you don't want to go in that room. And uh -oh. I knew it, uh, it's two o'clock. Oh, Chris, you know, I ain't going to do the cam on you and just step off the screen. Now, now Kim, 
Kim was acting like she might come back, but I know you've got stuff yeah, to do. I was, about, I was like, oh, shit, I forgot. I got to meet up. Yeah. With my you got things to do. Get some plugs in. Andre, uh, you all, I don't know if we have the tag up. Follow Andre on Instagram at the Andre Lavelle. Anything people need to check out, Andre? Uh, no, because the show got canceled. So. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad you've been back on Two Funny Mamas. <laughs> I got a show uh, that I'm doing to help raise funds for uh it's a kids football uh something i don't know they asked me to host it and put a show together but yeah where 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 is this where is this at uh, i'll post it on my ig i don't it's yeah okay <laughs> are you, mean, you don't know is it a bilingual is it a bilingual show <laughs> he waiting on the rest of the details yeah okay gotcha <laughs> and then b i know you're out in la you got tighten up tuesdays every tuesday uh what else is happening in your world well, tomorrow I'm at the Comedy Store, 10 p.m. for Crack 'Em Up Thursdays, and no, well, that's exciting. Yeah. Yes, it is, and I have my football <clears throat> podcast, three o'clock tomorrow, six o'clock East Coast time. Chick picks, then I have a show Saturday. I have a lot. You know, I'm really focusing on my frugal flip that's coming up in Clarkville, Tennessee. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah. I'm so looking forward to that, Chris. So, and I told you I'm streaming it from two different devices, so I want people to see us doing our thing despite the camera crew being there right i still want like, you know people chime in and let, let me know what they think about what i'm doing because they're not gonna get to see none of that footage at all in terms of what the cameramen are doing right now so. you probably don't know who's on the lineup th tomorrow at the comedy or today as this airs at the comedy store do you um no i just know i'm on it because i got my contract <laughs> <laughs> that's, all that right. that's all that I care about, Chris. We're about to close out. I never know who is on my show. I know where I'm supposed to be and how much money I owe me when I walk in the door. Is and there I need a cash app before I enter? Yeah, I I'm, in the, I'm on a feature on uh, oh, oh, some oh, streaming oh, service. Oh, I forget. Go to my IG. You got it. Oh, 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 She's about to pull oh, down the backdrop. No. Now, Kim, uh, can you just tell everybody what you just went and did while, before we sign off? Are you all right? Everything good? I had a meeting uh, with an animation director oh. that I had to uh, quickly. And then, I can't say this part because then I had to deal with the pool man. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Dexter what was barking. Like, what beef like have to do with it? What I'm, <laughs> you know you don't, you don't I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> But the pool man, because I had paid him. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Now, you... I was in the mail. <laughs> now, wait, you're trying to constantly get discounts from Mid Coast Media by offering sexual favors. This isn't one of these situations, is it? He did not say did that. Say... He on the wrong show. Who are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't hear that. Did you hear that? I know he didn't say it, but why he say the whole company? No, wait a minute. Who are you talking about? I don't offer him Andre, the oh, my ear acting up. Did you hear something? <laughs> Is it your, wait a minute, it's, it's Sherry's thing. How come you the one got wait to have sex? What are you talking about? Testing, testing. <laughs> we, not we must be getting some feedback from somewhere. Oh man, Great. go to go. The producers. Are we getting some feedback? If you all are if you all are tuned in this Thursday, make sure you go to Sherry's Instagram. Tell her how great she's doing on the View. Show her some love and uh, go to bijack.com slash two funny mamas. Get your two funny mamas merch. Tell me love them. Uh, Kim B. Andre, stick around after we close out. Please <laughs> say bye, everybody. And Chris, get that. I just want to say, Chris, get that fixed. Whatever that was. Somebody <laughs> chimed in something about some sexual harassment. <laughs> Kim does it live on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah, mm, my bad. <laughs> Technical error. I'll look into that. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas.